Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Well, if you're across the pond, it's probably already Monday. And you're like, no, it's not. It's not Sunday. I also have to, now that my brother is gone, kind of reconfigure my camera a little bit to where it was. Meh, that'll be for now. Uh, so here's the deal with uh, today. It's not supposed to be a news day. It's supposed to be a day where you sit back and do what I'm doing right now, which is grade. Maybe open some crystals. Uh, Paragon players, Valiant players have some event quest completion they can do for some points. I always try to save my energy refills and all the main paths of like Thronebreaker difficulty for event quest completion. So I get what I call cash back when I complete paths with bonus rewards. But this was the image attached to a Marvel Contest of Champions official post this weekend. And when you take a look at that, it says... Coming in with a bang, the Serpent and the Destroyer are entering the contest. The Serpent and the Destroyer. Now, i got to be honest. As somebody who's very much a noob when it comes to Marvel things, the Serpent and the Destroyer are not people that I immediately think of when I think of this great game and community. However, my man Brian Shadow Strike has once again sent over some bios, which we will talk about and look at, because the hype from some of you very much seems to be real, even though I hate this Marvel database website, because it has so many ads that I can't get to the basic information without seven popping up. And I'll hear, Prof, just, just do an ad blocker. Look. As somebody who loses Lord knows how much in ad revenue because of ad blockers on YouTube, I don't like to be a hypocrite and do it to other people. But man, okay, literally all the ads are letting me just do this vertical for this first one. So sorry, we're going to do this vertical. Uh, okay, so we have Cole Borson, a.k.a. Serpent. Cole Borson is the first champion we're going to talk about today. Again, shout out. Brian Shadow Strike for sending me this info. We must not fail. I told you all I'd reclaim you from the Veil of Tears, and so I have. And now you must be ready for your work. Go forth and bring my terror to this place. Spread my gospel across this tomb of a globe. We remain trapped upon a very dark interpretation of human existence. All right. Cole Borson, born to Bor Bolson and to the... Uh, Giantess Besla, older brother of Odin, uh, as well as others. In his youth, while riding during the time the Earth was known, Cole was attacked by giants, thrown off a peak, breaking most of his bones, tormented. Cole splintered both his legs and belly crawled to the camp of the slumbering giants, where he sucked the blood of all, save for one. For this one remaining giant, Cole left a message in blood, stating gods do not live in the sky, we live on the earth, and you do so at our pleasure. Thus he instilled fear in the giant, which would spread, giving birth to the god of fear. Really epic. Uh, I like to go all the way down, scroll all the way past all this stuff, till we eventually we get to abilities where we think, by the way, cool serpent look. Woo! Imagine that. Makes me think of Reptile from Mortal Kombat, which ironically is how I describe this game to people who don't know it. It's like a family-friendly, no-blood, uh, 1v1 combat fighting game like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat from yesteryear and the present, especially Mortal Kombat. So, attributes. Crazy strength, durability, and energy projection. Some fighting skills, speed, and intelligence. Cole possesses all the conventional attributes of an Asgardian god, however... As the son of Bor, many of these attributes are significantly superior than those possessed by the majority of his race. He's got superhuman strength. Despite of his advanced age, Cole possesses superhuman strength, surpassing most of that of as guardians who are normally capable of lifting 30 tons. Cole's capable of lifting 100 tons. He's also able to augment his strength to even greater heights by tapping into the fear of others. Superhuman speed. Cole, despite his age, is capable of running and moving at speeds greater than even the finest human Athlete capable of speeds rivaling most human uh, superhumans in spite of his age. So I think that could be uh, not Quicksilver necessarily, but maybe some glancing. 
Uh, superhuman reflexes, much more spirit of natural physical limits of the finest human athlete. Stamina calls, uh, we're just going to call it strength, produces considerably less fatigue during physical activity. It's got dense tissue, durability, which makes me think of Thing, and Korg. Regeneration. Like all other Asgardians, it is possible to injure Cole, but he recovers from injuries with superhuman levels of speed and vision. So this is part of why there's hype around this champ, because we love regen champs in this game, and maybe we have another one with this uh, new champion, or should we say serpent, advanced longevity, straight up magic, and fear absorption, all speak as one of his abilities, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that was a lot of information in a short amount of time, but I am hyped in theory on paper. Let's see if the ads do us better on this one or if we'll have to go vertical. I think maybe we're okay. I just exited out of six other ads. We'll see what happens. All right. I do recognize this guy from the Marvel movies, which I know to those of you that are comics fans and others, you're going to roll your eyes saying Marvel movies. What a noob. Fair. Factual. All right, the Indestructible Destroyer, the Asgardian Destroyer. Look at all those ads. Odin, Zeus, and Vishnu, known as the Skyfallers, of their respective pantheons, confronted Earth's third host of the Celestials. The Celestials explained that their next visit would judge whether human humanity was fit to continue existing and that the gods should not interfere. They threatened to seal off the dimensional pathways that link Earth to various realms such as Asgard and Olympus. Blah, blah, blah. Here we have our new champion, and I'm very intrigued by this guy. On paper, he definitely seems to be the most hyped of the two, though we have seen that not be the case when it comes to actually wanting the utility of these new champions when they actually come out. Remember when Prox Midnight got all the hype, but it was Corvus that easily won that month. Uh, powers of Destroyer ar Armor possesses numerous capabilities which are only active if the armor is inhabited or remote piloted by the spirit of a sentient being. While some of the powers might vary depending upon the spirit inhabiting the armor, they are primarily the same for any user. Superhuman Strength. Destroyer Armor possesses vast superhuman strength beyond normal reckoning, can lift far in excess of 100 tons. So both these champions have a lot of strength, superhuman speed, stamina, invulnerability, rut row. Destroyer armor is practically impervious to all forms of physical damage. Can you imagine if this was like a horrible uh, evolved version of Emma Frost? Remember when Emma Frost first came out? We're like, we can't do much against her. Then armor break champions kind of fix that. This could be that as well. Just a just a thought. Superhuman agility. Uh, flight. Whew. Maybe it'd be like a rogue. Energy manipulation. So much. They can do so much with this champion. Programmed solely for battle and destruction. He's got strength. Weaknesses. While the armor itself has no weaknesses, the spirit inhabiting the armor will begin to grow more progressively violent while spending extended periods of time within the armor. Also, after a time, it becomes nearly impossible for an inhabiting spirit to maintain control over the armor while attempting to use it for non-violent purposes. So, who knows how that's going to actually play into the logistics of MCOC. But, you know, overall, huge March champ hype. And my birthday's in March. It's March 27th. I was born on the Christian uh, calendar holiday of Palm Sunday. That's why I have such big palms and why I like to branch out with my puns. Uh, either way, really good info. Brian Shadowstrike, thank you again for passing this along. And thanks to everybody who clicked on this video and watched.